welcome back this week we'll be going forward and learning how to use a database to build an actual application so again going back to our diagram we learned how the web application works you've got a user and the user is using a web page on a browser the browser communicates with the server over the internet the server does whatever processing is required in addition to that it also goes out to a database fetches information from the database sends it back constructs a page sends it back to the browser and the user sees it this is the basic structure of the interaction of a user through a web application to a database and these days most data most web app most applications are actually deployed as web applications this architecture is sort of becoming standard okay now we also learned that sql is the language that the server actually uses to extract information from the database or not just extract but also update information on the database and we know of course that the database itself is based on a database design okay and we have already learned the process of database design as well as structured query language we have learned the language now all we have to do to complete this puzzle is to take care of this part and that's what we'll be looking at this time okay now technically speaking uh, it may not be important for you to really understand how a web application works but i think it's exciting and i also feel that it's a good idea to understand the whole picture rather than just have an understanding of a small piece of the picture okay so i want you to have the experience of being able to build a complete web application from scratch in other words you start with nothing you talk to the users find out their requirements and design the database build a complete working application based on all of this so from scratch we are able to build a fully functional web application and you will shortly see that you can build fairly non trivial web applications fairly complex web applications as well quite easily so that's a lot of ground we have covered in one semester and uh, i felt that this is something that you need to understand okay so we want to be able to transform that now into a working web application not transform it but build a working web application on top of a database so we have used oracle sql developer data modeler to actually design our databases right we built a logical model which is a entity relationship diagram and then we also saw how we can take that entity relationship diagram and convert it into a database schema which is a definition for the database set of tables uh, and so on that was the extract when we said export to a ddl file that's what we got and that is a file the schema file is an sql file which you can just take and run on a relational database and your entire database would then be created of course it won't have any data it will just have the structures for the various tables but it's ready to be populated with actual data so what we can do then is to load that into a product called oracle application express which is what we are going to use now to build a web application on top of this database that we have created okay now i chose to use oracle application express because it allows you to build sophisticated applications very very quickly okay now of course it's also possible for us to build these applications ground up by using a language like php and then managing web servers and so on but all of that process is time consuming it's complicated and we don't have the time in this course to do that so i chose a tool which is a rapid application development tool and that is why i chose oracle application express so once you use oracle application express you can then put a user interface a web based user interface on top of your uh, database that you have okay that's really where we are headed now so our goal is a working web application which looks something like this so this uh, is one of the databases that we use for our sql exam actually and uh, so uh, your application completed application will probably look something like this okay so we've got the menu running up on top and we can use these or each of these menus to invoke different pieces of functionality shortly i'll show you the complete application in its working form and uh, you will then know exactly what we are trying to build okay so let's take a look at the complete application 
in action now. Before we actually look at the application that we are going to build, let's understand the underlying database. This database is something that you're actually, you might be familiar with. Some of you got this for your SQL exam. So we've got employees, we've got customers, we've got products, and of course, there's a product line. There are many product lines. Every product belongs to a product line. Every product line has many products. Then you've got customers. A customer may have many sales orders. A sales order has many order lines and uh, all of these usual things. And of course, uh, a customer may make many payments as well. And you also see the unary relationship that employee has. Every employee might report to one other employee and every employee might be the manager of many other employees. And then you've got offices, which is that employees are allocated to offices. One office can have many employees. Okay, So that's a very simple kind of a database that we have and for this database we develop our application okay obviously this database we have designed the database based on the applications requirements what information does this company need to track okay so at any point in time the content of the database will represent the state of the business okay so as and when the business carries out transactions for example, the business adds a new customer. Then obviously that information about the new customer has to go into the customer table. So we have to add a new customer. Okay. Similarly, the company gets a new product. That, has to go to, that information has to go into the product table. The company creates a new sales order. In this case, we know that sales orders are represented actually in two different tables. One is the main sales order table and second is the order details table that has information about what are all the products that have been ordered in that order? So in this case, when you create a sales order, you've got to take that information and put it into two different tables. Okay. So you can clearly see that an application is nothing but a front-end view using which you're able to interact with the database. Okay. That's the user interface of the application. So you've got the underlying database, then you've got the application, and the application simply facilitates you to interact with the underlying database because the data in the underlying database to represents the state of the business at any point in time okay so that's really what we're trying to do having looked at this let's now go ahead and take a look at the actual working application okay so now what you'll be doing is actually for your project uh, first of all i'll give you a hands-on exercise that walks you through the complete process from start to finish of creating that application that you will be seeing shortly okay it's not at all difficult the whole process is not difficult the most complicated part as i've already said is building the entity relationship diagram once you've done that everything else simply flows automatically it's very very easy to build the rest of the stuff okay so that's what uh, we'll be doing i'll give you a handout that describes step by step what you need to do so for your project you will select an area any area of interest for you and develop an entity relationship diagram that is about as complex as what I have shown here. Okay, uh, about eight to ten entity types, a couple of associative entities, perhaps one or two associative entities. Uh, that's all you need to have for your application. So coming up with an ER diagram shouldn't be much of a task. You can choose any area of your liking. Okay, so once you've done that, everything else is very straightforward. Okay, let's take a look at the application. When I start the application, it presents a login page. I'm going to enter my password. So once I enter my password, it signs me into the application and you can see here that this application has all the main entities up here. I just created them as menus, menu items. Uh, so in a typical application in which you've got customers, employees, products, sales orders and so on, what are the things you would like to do? You'd like to of course add, delete, modify uh, customers. 
and you'd like to do the same for employees and products offices etc and you would also like to manage sales orders and so many other things so here I'm just showing you a few things so when you've got a business you've got a database essentially the database reflects the model of the business right it, it represents all the various entity types which are in the business which is all the tables and it represents the connections that they have in terms of the business rules so all you really have to do is to maintain that underlying database and as and when business transactions take place like you buy something you sell something you use a material as and when business transactions take place essentially what happens is we update the state of the database to reflect the business transactions that is really the role that a database systems play a system plays in a business application context that's all that's going on so here uh, therefore in my application I've got uh, menus for customers employees etc so let me go ahead and click customers okay then what it has done it is it has gone out into the database picked out all the customers of course it used SQL to do that but I don't have to specify it as you'll see uh, so it used an SQL like select star from customers and it's displaying all the data that is there in the database and this is actually an apex report okay now again as I pointed out you will be creating exactly this report as part of your hands-on exercise and you'll find that the process doesn't take much time you'll be creating this report and again for your project I will require you to draw the ER diagram for a situation of your choice you choose a situation and in fact I'll be circulating the project description for you so you're going to then create a logical ER diagram for that convert it into a physical diagram load it into Apex and build an application that looks somewhat like this in fact when you build the application you have several choices for the theme of the application you could choose other themes which might look nicer okay so I've got customers now and this is a report and one thing you'll see is if you go to the bottom and I'm just going to scroll to the right see here it's showing you customers 1 to 15 so I can click those arrows and see more customers that is something which is that that's a feature which is already there in your application now and uh, we can also the, all these column titles are all active column titles so I can click on customer ID and then I can select to sort particular select particular customers based on values or I could sort ascending or descending let's say we want to sort descending notice now that customer number 500 has come right to the top okay or I can do uh, ascending in which case it goes back to the original and I can do that by on any particular field that I like in fact I can even search for customers so let's say I search the uh, enter the word auto and click go immediately you've got only those customers whose names have auto in them okay so filtering capability uh, is also there by default in fact the application you build will also have these capabilities okay now this is only a report so it there's no modification that is possible on this however if you want to create a new customer you can click on create and fill out the form and say create and that will create a new customer for you okay uh, now of course if you've got an existing customer you can also edit the customer by clicking on this edit icon here and changing any of the values you like so you can do all of that for this okay similarly same thing applies for employees same thing applies for products and offices it's all the same kind of capability you show a report select a field and then you perform all operations on that searching everything all of that is the same this one is slightly different so we've got sales orders and again it's initially it looks exactly like the same it's listing all the sales orders but when I go to edit a particular sales order then you see that it's showing you the order details order header from the order table but it's also showing you the order details from the order details table it's showing you what are all the products that have been ordered within that sales order okay of course right now it's only showing you the order detail which is the product code 
quantity and the unit price it's not showing you any of the totals for example what is the line total for this particular product it's going to be 26 multiplied by 214.3 you can add that but right now i've built a very rudimentary kind of form that is simply showing you what is in the database it doesn't have any additional fields for showing calculated values all of that is possible but for this course we won't look at any of those things we'll just focus on building rudimentary applications if you're interested of course you can explore apex and you can do actually a lot of things with this oracle apex uh, product we are just scratching the surface but even that is pretty good okay so that is really the kind of application that we are trying to build now the, the advantage of this is that it helps us to see the entire life cycle of building a web application okay we didn't just learn about databases sql and stop because obviously there's no point in building a database unless it's going to be used in an application okay now there's no sense in me talking about how that application would look and work and so on it's a great idea for us to actually see it in operation and for you to be able to also use a tool and build your own application you'll soon see uh, that this is a very simple process actually the biggest challenge is actually designing the database as you've already seen once you've designed the database sql is not all that difficult building an application is also at least a rudimentary application is not very difficult especially if you're using a tool like this a rapid application development tool of course uh, there's one caveat if you're building a large application like a big store like amazon.com or if you consider the recent example of uh, the healthcare exchanges and so on those kinds of applications you cannot use a product like oracle apex because the apex product is not efficient enough to handle that kind of volume in those cases you would be better off building your application from scratch writing actual code but that is something we cannot do in this course. That takes a long time. In fact, you will have to do many, many courses to learn to build that kind of application. Okay. But here, I just wanted to give you a taste of the complete life cycle of a database application.